Okay, so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we've got a really exciting video for you all and we're doing a life update. So, obviously I'm really, really nervous for this. So if, yeah, you know, I'm, oh god, I'm just really scared. I'm going to try and edit it as well. So it's just completely raw and natural and honest and truthful. So, you know, just, yeah. So I thought it was needed because obviously a lot of you have seen things. Um that are quite changed my life um, and I've been hinting at things on Instagram and TikTok um, but yeah I just thought I'd do a proper life update because um, I feel like I haven't really actually spoke to you all in ages um, I'm gonna shut the curtain behind me this is, before anyone asks where this is from by the way I got it in like the most random shop in the York car um, so yeah because I know a lot of you probably might ask um, it's quite cute isn't it um, Okay, I don't know where to start and I'm gonna touch my hair a lot so if that's gonna annoy you I'm really sorry. Because I yeah. Okay, so um I put my story like less or less um some questions and stuff. Um okay, so let's just start. So obviously mainly all the questions are about Ellis. Um my ex-boyfriend Ellis, yes we have broken up. Um, so, oh, it's so difficult to talk about and explain, um, I'm going to say, um, so much, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so yes, me and Ellis did break up, um, I ended things with him, but it will, I think we both know now it, it is for the best, um, I don't, I... Yeah, so I was the one that broke up with him. However, I think it is for the best and he knows that now. So I'll kind of give like a backstory. Obviously, me and Ellis went out for nearly three years. Um, we got together October 22nd, 2018. And we broke up May, 7, like May 17th or, of 2021. So it would have been three years this October. So obviously lockdown came. Me and um, Ellis, we didn't see each other from January 8th, 2021. That is the last time we've ever seen each other with January. So we did an online relationship from January 2021 to this year till May 2021. That is key to remember because obviously when I get to later on explaining things, it's just key to remember that we haven't seen each other for that long. Like, that is a long time. So, things were fine. Obviously, we didn't see each other because he lives in Leicester. I live near London. Um, the distance has never really bothered us. We practically live together. And, um, obviously, he was spending it at home with his family. I'm spending it with mine. And we didn't, obviously, want to get the train to each other because that's, like, risky. And being fined in that and obviously our mums and that couldn't drive us again because you can get fined etc so yeah we didn't we genuinely didn't see each other since january 8th which was his 18th birthday um ooh, i hate talking about this um yeah i don't know <laughs> so anyway we um were fine obviously me and ellis we looked like the most perfect couple online and you know what half the time we were but we were so toxic, like, both of us. That's the thing. It's not like I'm sitting here like, oh, I hate my ex is so toxic. No, I was as well. I am, I can be such a toxic person. And when you're with someone that's also like that, it doesn't work a lot of the time. And because we were together from a young age, so, so intense, like it was intense. I was literally 14. I was, a, I was three months into being 14 when we got together and he was 15, nearly 16. Um, and it was just so intense. Like we were like a married couple from me being 14 and that is ridiculous. And we are very similar people and when you're too similar with a partner, it's not gonna work, obviously in my thing. And obviously we loved each other but do you know what? Love isn't enough for a relationship. It just simply isn't. You can love someone, but things don't work with them. Just like, for example, if you're older and you, you're in love with your husband, but he's an alcoholic, love's not gonna be enough, is it? 
if he's ruining your life, not saying not saying Ellie's Rupert was ruining my life, no. We both we both caused each other a lot of issues. Like we both did. Not I'm not blaming this at all. Like there's no bad blood. There's no bad blood um at all. So we did we obviously didn't see each other Valentine's Day. He sent me like flowers and that, um, which was lovely in a card and and you know what? Oh, it was probably after Valentine's Day, like the end of February maybe. I started just, I don't know, I started just thinking about it, things, and I didn't really tell anyone. And Ellis definitely noticed because I was drifting from him a lot. But I didn't know what it was, I just, nothing felt right, like whatsoever, whatsoever. And I, didn't, I don't really know how to explain it, but nothing just was feeling right. And I, when I... I don't know, I just, we, it, it's so weird, like, the art, we would argue constantly, again, not his fault, I don't want anyone to put any blame on him at all, like, at all, like, if, oh, oh yeah, also, if any of, I don't want anyone to message him at all, he knows I'm doing this, him and my mum still speak, obviously, um, so if anyone, if you feel like messaging him, don't, unless you're going to be nice, because it's not, fair to keep bringing me up to him it's not fair to especially blame him because a lot of people have been being horrible to him like no why what's the point so no one like say anything to him and also stop asking us questions like as much as it's annoying for me it's even more annoying for him because i broke up at the end of the day you don't want to keep up hearing about me anyway yeah back to it so i started having doubts for like end of february and march and april like I was just in such a weird place and we were going to see each other but we wanted to wait till because um we wanted to wait till we could do something really special and obviously things we wanted to wait till things could like open properly um and because we live far it was difficult obviously um oh god this is horrible anyway it got to May and obviously I still hadn't seen him at all um because of lockdown but i think by that point we were about we were gonna see each other like we were really like we were about to see each other and i just thought in my head if i see him like if i genuinely see him i'm not gonna be able to ever end things and i knew things needed to end because as much as it was a as much as i had so much fun it was like absolutely amazing it also just i knew it wasn't gonna last forever anymore just simply because we are too we're too similar but also too different like it don't make sense i know but it just we weren't compatible whatsoever anymore you can be together from a young age with people but it's risky because you're growing up together and changing and that's like potluck at the end of the day either you grow together and you still fit together or you grow together and you no longer do fit together you're no longer compatible and that's what happened to us so i know if i saw him I wouldn't have the balls to break up with him. There's no way I would have, because there's just something like I can't explain, it, but I just knew. I just know I wouldn't have been able to do it like at all. So I was out with my mum. Um, it was the night rest. It was night where you could eat inside restaurants, and I kind of just told my mum, and my mum didn't really know, and I broke up with him um, over text. And you're all gonna say it's nasty, but. Me and Ellis had this deal that if we were ever, ever to break up with each other, we'd do it on text simply because we don't want to hear each other's voices. It sounds weird, but Ellis always said to me, if you're ever going to break up with me, do not do it in real life and do not do it on the phone. Do not do it on FaceTime. Do it on text. So that's what I did because I knew he wouldn't want me to hear my voice say it. Simple as. I wrote a nice long message. We weren't in an argument or anything. Um, and yeah, and do you know what? I think he knew, he obviously tried a lot to like fix things, but I think he also knew it wasn't right anymore. So yeah, it's the most least interesting breakup ever. No one cheated, no one did anything bad. It, it's literally just two people didn't end up being together and didn't, need, didn't, it wasn't right to be together anymore. That's as interesting as it gets really. Anyway, yes, so. You're all going to think, now, this is going to sound really... Right, yeah, okay. Next question. Have I got a new boyfriend? So, right, let me explain this. So, Ellis was doing, like, Q&A thing on his story the other day. Um, we 
we tried being we tried being friends, but it just you can't really be friends with an ex that you're in, you were probably in love with. It's not gonna work eventually. So I wasn't following him, but I was getting screenshots of his story. He'd accidentally said, exposed that I've got a boyfriend, um, a new boyfriend, because he didn't mean it maliciously, but he genuinely thought like that it was okay to say because he he just thought that because obviously um, he'd been, this new one had been coming to my post. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get into that because you're all, oh, it's just really difficult. So, a few days um, after the breakup, basically I was spending a lot of time with Katie anyway because things were just shite anyway in my life. And before the breakup I spent a lot of time with Katie and after as well. And I met this boy um, who... Because I've become friends with lots of Katie's friends, especially from her college. She's finished now because she's Katie's a year above me. Um, and I met him and it, it feels weird talking about it because you're all going to think like, oh, you moved on quick. But it's not like that because I, haven't gen I hadn't genuinely seen Ellis since January 8th. By this point, it had been literally six months. Six months since I last saw him. I can't remember what... I just could not remember a bit like it might have only been not even a month since we did break up but it's been feeling like we've broken up since January and we've been drifting that long so it wasn't like a quick move on for me if that makes sense as much as it sounds like it was like it just it just wasn't and yeah so he's called Harry um and like Oh, it's so weird to talk about because I know you're all going to be like judging me but at the end of the day I was going to be single and I was planning on that I was planning on having my hot girl summer like I was, I was I'm was. i going to Zante I'm planning on well we meant to be going Iron Apple but we had to change it to Zante I was not planning on getting another relationship whatsoever like that was on the last of my mind but when you meet someone you meet someone you can't you can't ignore it if it's meant to be you need to be together that's what i think like why should i say to myself no no i'm not going to get with someone else i'm and i realized i'm not the kind of girl that can sleep around and kiss around and people i like being in a relationship i wasn't planning on being in one whatsoever but then harry came along and here i am in a relationship um so yeah um we like obviously met on our own and everything obviously we met first like i met him through katie um and yeah we just clicked um yeah i, I don't really want to say what obviously i'm not going to say much um he isn't like the biggest social media person i think a lot of you have found his account on instagram already and um, he don't post on it or at all it's not his thing which i do like because i don't know i just prefer it when they're not into social media i think i've decided yeah i mean yeah it's really good i didn't want to say anything straight away obviously because you've got to wait but it's been nearly two months now so since we've like you know talking and stuff so obviously i did want to do this video because it is serious now and you're all my lovely friends so i've got to tell you all um but yeah i'm very very happy i'm the happiest i have ever been in a very 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 long time and that's not me saying ellis that's not me saying ellis was shit because he wasn't we just weren't compatible together it was nothing it just plays no one think that he was like shite to me or anything because no that's not how it was that that's it was both of us and we did, we clashed simple as like there's nothing behind it and i learned things that i want in a different i like by i'll never regret that time of my life he was my first love and sadly it didn't last but i learned a lot i learned a lot about myself what i what mistakes i don't want to make again within myself and what i don't want in a partner and what i do want that's just what i learned and i'm very happy very happy now so yeah that's what i have to say thank you for watching this is really awkward i just i don't know how people, you're all gonna react really but you know
I should be using up my window. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Sorry if this is a bit of a shock to some of you, but... Yeah, oh, this is so weird. I don't want to upload it, but I have to, don't I? Okay, I love you all. Um, yeah, remember, don't send anyone hate, because that will upset me. And don't... Don't give me hate. Don't give him hate. Don't give me hate. And, yeah. I love you all. I'm going to do a little thumbnail, you know, screenshot thumbnail. Don't know, I really want to do. I love you all. Bye. Oh, I'm sleeping from bed.